so this is our conveyor belt problem. And this was just a simple kinetics problem, but we also had to use kinematics on this one. So here we have a conveyor belt. It's got these little objects um, that are being delivered, it says, to the 72 inch incline chute. Uh, it's gonna move at a speed of V1. Right, so V1 equals 1.2 feet per second. And then it says if the conveyor belt B, which is down here, has a speed of three feet per second, and the objects are delivered to this belt with no slipping, then we want to calculate the coefficient of friction between the objects and the chute. All right, now there were a few different ways to do this. So in the class, I saw a couple of, well, actually I saw two or three different ways of solving it, but I'm going to go over the way that I did it. All right, so we have our box, and now we want to put our forces on it. So we're going to have the normal force. We've got a mass times gravity for weight. And then again, we have friction. So this is just like the diagram from the last problem. All right, so we have mu times n, a bit mu k here, since that's what it says it's looking for. Oops. And next thing we want to do, let's label our coordinate system. Okay, so that'll be X, that'll be Y, just like in that last problem. And then we need to look at our angle. All right, so here we have this 30 degree angle. So that there is going to be 30 degrees. And this here would be 60 degrees. All right, so now that we've got that figured out. Let's look at our equations. And again, this is a kinetics problem. So for the kinetics problem, you're going to do sum of forces equals mass times acceleration. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the y direction first, because I don't have any acceleration in this y direction. All right, the boxes are all moving in the x direction. So this one's going to be easier to start with. So we have n minus the y component of weight. All right, so we're going to have mg sine 60, and it's going to be negative. And that's going to equal zero because there is no acceleration in the y direction. All right, so with that, we can solve for n. We get mg sine 60. That's all we can do with that for now. So let's go to the x-axis some of our forces. So for this, I'm going to have a negative friction. And remember that's mu times n. And I have an equation for n, so we're going to use that. So we're going to have minus mu k times mg sine 60. And this was from n. And then I've got my weight component, right? So this has an x component, so it's going to be positive mg cosine 60. And this is going to equal m times ax. Right, so this obviously has an acceleration as it goes down this um, inclined chute. So now let's look and see what we can do. All right, well, during the test, a couple of y'all asked what the mass was. But if you look at this equation, do we need the mass? No, we don't need the mass, right? Because these can all cancel out. So that's good. So that goes away. And when I was looking at this, then this told me that AX was equal to this expression here on the left. So let's write that out. So AX has to be, I'm going to pull G out because that's in both of them. It's going to be g times cosine 60 minus mu times sine 60. So now we have that acceleration equation. Okay, and this is a constant acceleration, right? Because mu is not going to change. We just don't know what it is. So this is still a constant value, which gives us a constant acceleration. So that means we can use our kinematic equations from earlier on in the semester. And the one I picked was v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta x. And this a here for this problem will be ax. All right, so let's do that. 
And before we do that, let's simplify this so we don't have to write sine and cosine and all that. So this is going to give us 16.1 minus 27.9 mu k. So now let's plug this into right here. Okay, v squared, what do we think that is? Well, this is our final, right? So this is going to be 3 squared. And then we need to set it equal to the initial velocity squared. So the initial velocity is 1.2. So let's square that. And then we're going to have plus 2 times 1.61, or 16.1, minus 27.9 mu k. All right, and then we have our delta x. What's delta x going to be? It's going to be distance we traveled, right, on this inclined chute. So that's going to be 72 inches. Now, do I want to leave it in inches? No, because these are feet per second. Right, I didn't write it in here, but that's what they are. All right, so we want to convert this. So we need to divide by 12. Okay, so now we're left with this. Only unknown here is mu. So now we'll be able to solve. All right, so if you simplify this, you're going to get 7.56 equals 12 times 16.1 minus 27.9 mu sub k. And then you, know, you can simplify it again from there. So 0.63 is going to equal the 16.1 minus 27.9 mu. And now you can solve for mu, which is 0.554. And that'll be it. Okay, so that's your coefficient of friction for that problem.